like any other kind of nice ceramic, Heath picks up some knife marks and stains. Uh, mine have accrued a few, and I just wanted to show everyone how to clean them carefully. Here you can see a negative with uh, the knife marks. And now back to the plate itself. It's a bone or white colored plate that I'm going to clean off with Barkeeper's Friend. And I think this is really the right way to carefully clean your Heath ceramics. So Heath actually recommends using Barkeeper's Friend, but to not leave the liquid in contact with your ceramic for more than a minute. Uh, and you're only going to use this if you have a stain or a knife mark or something that isn't going to come off through a conventional wash and scrub. Uh, here you can see me applying the Barkeeper's Friend, just rigorously rubbing it into the plate to get rid of some stains and knife marks. And I'll fast forward and we'll see the success or failure. Here's the plate after a minute of rubbing with the Barkeeper's Friend and then a rinse. You can see that the knife marks are gone and any sort of light stains are also gone. So definitely a big one there. Let's try it on a few different pieces. Coffee cup is a great use of the Barkeeper's Friend. This is a cup that's been stained by coffee. And not surprisingly, uh, the problem here is that getting your hand into the bottom to do a rigorous cleaning is uh, really difficult if you have even medium-sized hands. Uh, but I'm going to give it a quick shot. And I had mixed results here. The Barkeeper's Friend is effective, but getting into the bottom of the cup is, is really difficult. Lastly, I have these small bowls that are in a white color and have a really deep ingrained stain. It's subtle, but uh, you can definitely see it, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, it came from ketchup or sriracha or something like that, and I have been unable to get it out. I want to give the barkeeper's friend a shot. Okay, so the process is the same as last time. You get a little bit of the barkeeper's friend, you put it on the ceramic, and you rub it in vigorously, uh, and you keep it under a minute so you don't damage the ceramic or the coating on the ceramic at least. I'm uh, missing a clip here, but in order to save time, I'll just tell you that this did not work. Uh, I gave it a re real good rub and this stain is too deeply ingrained. So I'm gonna try a different method, which is baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. So here I'm letting a warm mixture of baking soda and hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide sit in the Heath ceramic for a, about, I think two or three minutes and just seeing if that'll sort of lift some of the stains out of there. If it works, there should be a really clear line at where the solution stops. Looking at the bowl, you could see that the stain is really untouched. So yeah, Barkeeper's Trend works and Hydrogen Peroxide works, but some of the stains are just not going to come out of your light-colored heath. 